Welcome back. In order to respond to messages that the user is going to send to us, we need to have some kind of a database or a possible messages or an array of expected messages that the user is going to send us. And the process message will use that array. Therefore, I'm going to create an array of objects just here. var array of possible messages. These are messages. This should be possible. It will contain as many uh, expected messages as possible. And the structure will be will not just be an array. It will be an array of objects. So it will contain objects. Each object will have a message, the expected message, message, and it will all it will also have the response. Here response. So we will have messages and the response. For example, if the user, if we expect that the user is going to send us, how are you? How are you? Then the then our response should be we are great or I am great or something like that. I am great, I'm fine, something like that. And we keep on adding as many as possible because the more we have, the better our application will be. Because we will be able to respond to as many uh, questions or statements or uh, t texts that the user is going to send us. And I'm going to always use the uh, small letter. Let's also add another message, uh, a couple of other message and response. Here, message and response. And let's say that the, uh, if the user sends us a uh, hi, then our response should be a uh, hi as well. If the user sends us who are you, who are you, then we should here type uh, I am your assistant. And of course, this array of uh, possible messages uh, should be used in the process message. So we will get the message that the user is going to send us, and we call the process um, message, and we will try to match the message, message that we will get from the user with one of these messages. If we have a match, then we will respond with one of these, with the with the message that is associated with the um, the message that the user sent us. So, for example, if the user sent us "Who are you?", then we will uh, try to match match it with uh, with one of these. Of course, we will find it here. We will match it with this one, with the third element of this array, and we will use the response attribute of the third element, which is "I am your assistant." And in order to pull off that, I'm going to be using the filter uh, function of the array uh, class. So what I'm going to do is that once we get the message from the user, uh, I am first going to access the array, array of possible messages. And then I'm going to call the filter. And then inside the filter, we will be filtering this array. We will be filtering this array in order to get a message that is equal that matches the message sent by the user. So here inside, what I'm going to do is that value, if the value dot message that includes, if it includes the message sent by the user, user dot message dot uh, to lower with the lowercase so that we uh, we avoid getting no response. And this this statement will will return only um, elements in that array that match the message sent by the user. So if the user sends hi, it's going to return this. And then we can use the response. Uh, we can access the response key, which contains hi, and then send it uh, to the user or respond to the user. So here we can say var result result equals to this statement and then finally we can 
uh, send this result. Of course, th this result will be an array. Remember, be careful here. It's an array, array of our results. So it could contain more than one element. So we need just to get only one element. So what I'm going to do here is result and only the first element. And then we access the response, which is uh, going to be a string and send it to the user. So here we can say var response response equals to this and we send it to the user using the chat uh, but send message and pass the response response so let's now test quickly if I go to uh, the browser and refresh and let's send this message let's send let's send how are you we should get I am great from the chatbot so here if I type how are you I should get I should get I am great as you can see I get the response immediately of course we need to add some delay and stuff like that and some checks and I'm gonna work on them later but for now if you type any message any of these expected messages the chatbot will detect them and respond with uh, these with one of these uh, responses so if I type hi if I send I am gonna get hi back from the chat bot 